There has to be a baseline that you do not cross, a minimum standard of ethics, respect, decency, and honor. Today, the leader of the opposition sank below that line, demonstrating that he will say and do anything to distract. Bless up, bless up my people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl and Isabel Rose. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks to the returning subscribers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the post notification bell on. Put it on all so you won't miss an upload from me. On the road to 20k, help me to get there my people. So in this one my people, we're seeing the president of the House of Senate comes forward now saying what he thought of Mark Golden's speech that caused the Prime Minister as well as other members of the Jamaica Labour Party to walk out of the parliament. When the former speaker was forced to resign as, re as a result of an integrity commission investigation, the, the move to replace her with the wife of the prime minister so that the head of parliament is now the spouse of the head of government really does not sit well with the tradition that the speaker must act independently of the government of the day. The speaker, the speaker is intended to be independent and must act independently of the government today. That is the tradition. That is the, that is the tradition. The failure, the failure, the failure, Mr. Speaker. Members, members, members. the so-called illicit six MPs. And on the normal people come with any public speaking, there's gonna come with some form of scrutiny. And everybody has their opinion. So may I make gonna hear what Tom Tavares Finson had to say about what transpired in Parliament yesterday based on what Mark Golin has said. In politics, as in life, there has to be a baseline that you do not cross, a minimum standard of ethics, respect, decency, and honor. Today, the leader of the opposition sank below that line, demonstrating that he will say and do anything to distract the public, the people of Jamaica, from the true issue at hand, which is to articulate, to lay before the people of Jamaica a clear vision supported by a definite plan for the betterment of this Jamaica land we love. Golden has repeatedly taken to personal attacks instead of advancing real and practical ways to move the country forward. Today, Mark Golden had an opportunity to tell Jamaica how he would fund public statements and proposals that he has repeatedly made about the economic future of Jamaicans. Having created this anticipation and being unable to meet the expectation of the Jamaican people, his strategy at what was almost the very end of his speech was to attack the Speaker of the House of Representatives, to attack the Speaker of the Honorable House of Representatives in the person of Juliet Holness, Member of Parliament, who was nominated unopposed and seconded by the opposition. 
in her ascension to the role of Speaker. Mark Golding has repeatedly demonstrated that he will say anything for political gain. He has flip-flopped on a number of issues when they no longer suit his political agenda and his blind pursuit for power to which he feels entitled without working for it. We saw this when his party supported what was accepted to be the vexed issue of public sector wage increases to include that of parliamentarians. And we saw it again today when his party supported Juliet Holness for the position of Speaker, only to withdraw that support when it no longer suited him. The Prime Minister has dedicated his life to the service of the Jamaican people. He has endured countless attacks on his character, to which he has never really responded, as he remains focused on delivering a better way of life for his country that he clearly loves so dearly. Juliet Holness joined him in politics and public service out of a sense of duty to our country and has given her heart and soul to the people of Jamaica. We are disappointed that Mark Golden would use her to score cheap political points. Today, the attack on the House Speaker demonstrates a breach of every convention in the Commonwealth, every convention in our parliamentary system that governs how the office of the Speaker is to be respected and approached by members of Parliament. And further, it does not align to the spirit of us supporting our women when they, on their own merit, rise to position of influence in the society. Jamaica deserves an opposition with some semblance of honor and whose word means something. Mark Golin has shown us today that he has neither honor or plans for this Jamaica. And in his speech, he said that they had agreed to her becoming the speaker at that particular time. However, many others would have asked the same question, why no? And so in this next clip that I'm going to show you, my people, Mark Golden answers that question as to why he said what he said in Parliament as it pertains to the Speaker of the House, Juliet Holness. I did not say anything offensive. I wasn't rude. I simply said that to have the head of government in the country and the head of the Parliament in the Speaker as spouses does not sit well with the tradition in our parliamentary democracy and not just Jamaica, across the, the world that has our system of having a speaker who is independent of the government. This is a very important matter because the speaker is the umpire. Had We had some concerns but we decided not to take an issue with it after she was appointed. Leader of opposition business didn't object at the time and we, I was prepared to work with it. But having seen mm -hmm. what has happened since exactly. with these reports not being tabled on a timely basis, Integrity Commission reports, some of them being sent to the Oversight Committee, which the government controls, which will, they may never be published in that, in, in, in that eventuality. And seeing that the opinion that they're relying on from the Attorney General, given to the Parliament, they won't share it with the public and with us to know what, whether or not the justifications are sound in law. I just feel it's a very bad situation that has happened under her watch, and I thought I should bring it to the public's attention that this is a matter of concern. Have and I'm not alone. It was a speaker. Have I won? Have you written to the Prime Minister raising concerns about this? I raised it in the Parliament today. And so, you know, I, when I write to the Prime Minister, he never replies. What? You all heard it for yourself. He made mention of reports, months old reports, that are not tabled as yet by Juliet Holness. And so he's questioning, you know, the integrity of her based on her actions. I want to talk up and tell me what I think my people of what was said by Tom Tavares and the response to the same question that many would have asked by opposition leader Mark Golden as to you know why he went against her now being in the speaker who is the spouse of the Prime Minister. Shut up in the comment section and make a reason my people. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Run go over to my other platform, Instagram and Facebook and follow me over there at Anissa Bell Rose. Check out the YouTube store, make a purchase, it goes in support of the channel. Check out the YouTube membership, you get a lot of benefits by becoming a member. Only a small fee to join the Anissa Bell Rose membership. Member shout out goes to Angela and Yvonne Wallace, big up on yourself. We do notification shout out in each and every video to be a part of that. All you have to do is be the first to like, comment and subscribe and you'll be featured in the following 
video to come. This notification shout out goes to Aris Henderson. Big up yourself, Aris. Big up to each and every subscriber. New viewers, come on board. Journey with me. Join the family. Subscribe to the channel. Like up the video. Share out the videos. Support the ABR movement. On the road to 20K. Help me to get there, my people. We can do it. Get this video to at least a thousand likes. Stay tuned for more videos. Stay tuned for more updates. Big up on yourself. And y'all know Thursday coming is the Prime Minister's remark and you know me i bring that live stream so stay tuned for that we want to hear what the prime minister has to say 